Hold on, my neighbor's right there. He went inside. Timmy is probably gonna come and like look in these out his window. What it do, what it do, what it do. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Michelle, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please join the journey down below and all the buttons down there. Hello, hi, welcome back. It's been a moment um, for me not traveling and vlogging and me actually sitting down and talking to the camera. So hello, hi, Do you like this new setting. This is just a different room in my house. Um, but I think the lighting's better in this corner than it was in my living room, like 100% it is. And this way I don't have to get out like a whole uh, like lighting source. The only thing that's bad about this corner is that like my neighbor's house is like right here. And usually it's not a problem because they're not normally home, but today they're home and having a fire outside. So if at any point I stop this um, video, I'm gonna have to take a break and the lighting changes, I'm sorry. I just get nervous because this isn't like, people don't get it, especially these guys because they're a bit older. So they wouldn't like, I don't know, they might understand, they probably wouldn't care. Either way, I don't want to be judged. Anyways, we're back with another Michelle tries it. I don't know why I did this into it, and I also spit when I said it, but anyways. But, um, it's Valentine's Day, guys. Did you guys know that? I did only because it's at the stores and, like, everywhere, but, like, not because I celebrate, because I've, um, been single for, like, <laughs> years. As you guys know, I love a craft. If you, if you don't know, that's probably because you knew this channel, and you most likely are. So hi, welcome to my channel, I'm Michelle. I love to do crafts and travel and like other stuff. So if you aren't new here, then you know I like to decorate my house for holidays. I've um, done a Halloween video, craft video. I've done a uh, Christmas craft video. I'll link those two down below so you can watch those as well. So now it's time, it, or it only makes sense now to do a video that is pertaining the next holiday, which is Valentine's Day. I guess New Year's would have been one, but I don't drink or anything like that. And I was at Disney World, so I didn't see, it's too close to Christmas and I still like to have my Christmas decorations up at that point, so. I go to the stores, you know, you see the, you see the, the decor, you see the stuff, and my limbs, like, fully retract into my body and, like, won't let me buy anything. Because I truly feel like 98% of the stuff I can make myself. Does it cost about the same to make it myself? Yes. But I think it's cuter, it's more unique to my style, rather than buying something that's, like, cookie cutter to everybody else. So I personally enjoy I mean not don't get me wrong I definitely buy stuff from the store but sometimes it's like so overly expensive blah, blah, blah. I could go on and on the reasons why I don't like to do it so but I do also like to make things on my own I think it's more fun that way so that's why we're here that's why we're here okay in this video we have four Valentine's Day crafts that we are going to be doing we are making paper mache letters that are that spell out the word love, a felt banner uh, for my mantle, a wooden sign, and some heart-shaped crayons. So let's get into this stuff, shall we? We're gonna go ahead and start with making the felt banner. I started with the felt banner because I was the most unsure of how I was gonna do the felt banner. Um, I'm not a or I'm, I'm not a sewer or a seamstress. I'm just getting like being taught how to sew and everything the correct way. Um, so I'm beginner, beginner, beginner when it comes to sewing. Needless to say, I had very low expectations for this video. To my low expectations, these turned out to be a lot uh, easier and to do and um, turned out so, 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 so cute. I used felt as the, um, the main source of the main fabric. You could use any fabric really, but I found felt to be the easiest to work with. You cut out the felt and with any shape you could want. I chose hearts, you could do um, like XOXO, you could do um, 
really any shape for any holiday. Obviously hearts go with Valentine's Day. So I don't trust my uh, cutting my scissor skills very much. So I used my Cricut. Um, that could be considered cheating, but it really took me like three different tries to figure out how to cut it correctly because I put it on the wrong setting and then I put on the wrong setting again and, and it wasn't cutting the fabric. It was just like putting like, you'll, you can see it in there. It just wasn't cutting. I wanted mine to be super uniformed, which is the reason why I use my Cricut. You obviously don't need to have a Cricut to do this video at all. You could use regular scissors. Just make sure they're super sharp if you're going to cut fabric because it tends to be more difficult if you don't have super sharp or fabric scissors. By the way, for the Cricut, use the felt acrylic is what I needed to use. So with those, I did four different color hearts. I did two that were like a pinkish purple, um, two that were red, two that were pink, like a, uh, a brighter pink, and then two that were like a lighter pink. Once I was done cutting those, I was able to start the sewing process. It just took me 50 years to figure out how to thread this. I chose this out of my mom's thread box that I have here at my house. Let's do it. So after YouTubing and TikToking like a million times on how to string a string onto a needle and tie the knot, it's time to bring these hearts together. Oh my God. <laughs> so I used an overstitch to connect the felt hearts together. I, I sewed three quarters of a way and then I stopped and then I stuffed it with old yarn that I had left over from old projects. You could really use anything to stuff these. You could use tissue paper, uh, newspaper. I considered cutting up an old pillow. You can use an old stuffed animal from the thrift store. There's like so many things you could do. So I made the four colors. I made two colors. I made two sets of each color. So I had, at the end, I had eight hearts all together. So I just kind of sat up shop in front of my TV and just sewed to my, my little heart's desire until they were all finished. It was actually pretty enjoyable. I kind of zoned out, watched TV and just sewed and sewed and sewed. I really liked it. I really liked it and I would like to do it again. So once those were finished, I did the same thing that I did in my Christmas video that uh, whenever I made my, um, man like my little mantle garland then. For this one, I did, I used a thicker yarn and that really thick needle again and was able to string it through just the center of the oh, heart. If anyone has a needle, a problem with needles, don't watch. But I use this needle for what I just did with the thicker. Oh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see. But just know it's thicker than most. And then you can see the one I'm changing to, it's like much thicker. I don't know if you wanted to know that. So these turned out so cute. I don't really know what I thought that they were gonna look at. It's not that I didn't think that they were gonna look cute because obviously the idea behind it is very cute. I just didn't think that I was gonna be able to execute it well and I was and it turned out very, 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 very cute and I love it so much. And it looks so cute on my mantle and it really brings together, I love a banner or a garland or whatever you wanna call it. I live for them as you can tell, because I make one all the time. I just think they really bring my mantle together and I love it! Okay, so the next up was the wooden sign. The wooden sign. I didn't go into Valentine's Day crafting thinking I was gonna be making a wooden sign, but whenever I was looking around, I'm not the biggest fan of wooden, like of the signs that have like the words all over the house. Like I'm not the biggest fan of that because I think like they're really, really, they're kind of cheesy. But whenever I was searching through all of my stuff around my house, I found a wooden sign and then I found some wooden letters that my mom had found from a, th like bought from, my mom just buys random things from thrift stores sometimes and brings them to me like art crafts. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool, thank you. And I never like think I'll use it. And I end up like finding a source for them at some point. So this was one of those moments that I was able to use those letters. So I was really excited about that so after that after I found all the supplies it was time to pick out the words so I can paint the letters um, so I didn't know what I was gonna choose um, initially I was like thinking you know Valentine's Day hate 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 but I was like no 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 no. it's like too extreme too extreme and then I was thinking you know uh, just 
the blatant obvious, I'm single. But I was like, no, 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 that's too desperate, that's too desperate. So I went with just the classic love, you know. This is the basic love sign. So that's what we went with. It's pretty cut and dry. I took those letters, I painted them red, painted all the sides of them red, and let them dry overnight. I came back the next day, I hot glued the, the letters. I kind of, I found the center. I will say that I found the center um, with a ruler and then based how I was going to put the sign on from finding the center because I wanted it to be centered. So that's what I did and I just hot glued them on and voila you have yourself some V de decor. You could easily have just taken that wooden board and like painted directly onto the board or used a Cricut or used a stencil. There's a lot of options whenever you have those boards. You have like a blank canvas, so to speak. So there's a lot of versatility in that with those signs, with those like wooden boards. You can get them at Walmart for like four or five dollars or the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I love the way these turned out. Super basic, super simple. I mean, whatever. Uh, super simple is literally my love language. So uh, making these super simple was on purpose. I did end up making a single one because, um, well, I'm single. So, uh, I just also thought it would be like really funny and I'm always here for a joke or a laugh. Okay. So on the letters, on the, the paper mache letters, I went out and bought this yarn specifically for this craft because, because surprisingly I didn't have any pink yarn, which is like, uh, I have so much yarn. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I know I'm single this season, this Valentine's Day season, like most others, but God didn't forget about me, and he brought me, he brought me my man, so thank you, God. Love you. You are blessed. So I went into this thinking, like, this is a no-brainer. You just wrap the yarn around it, around the letter. Like, I bought those paper mache letters, those thicker ones. It's like, this is no big deal. I got this in the bag. No, it was a lot harder. I was having a hard time, like, wrapping my brain around how to wrap the the yarn around these letters so that it didn't show like the ends or like the tops and stuff so i literally restarted these like multiple times because i just couldn't figure out how to do it and i didn't like the way it was wrapping but after many many restarts i finally figured it out and realized the picture that i was like going off of on the inst or on pinterest they wrapped they did them in layers and i didn't realize that at first but so like they did like layered vertical and then they would go horizontal or vice versa it just depend on like the letter but and then they would wrap it all together so it looked like one but that's what all crafting is is trial and error right and that's what makes it fun is never you like find out the end that it was shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It actually turned out really, really cute. I did each letter a different color. I will say the O was by far the most difficult to do. Uh, my fan, my brain like fully rejected the idea that like of the curves of it, and I didn't understand like how to wrap it. And honestly, if it's like a big thick mess, but I don't mind it. Like, I still think it looks good. Other people might look at it and be like, "Wow, that looks like trash," but I think it looks good. So get out of my house <laughs> the inspo picture that i went off of is here and that picture um they did like an ombre effect like pink or red to pink so i wanted to do each letter a different color and in my mind i, I was going to stack them in like a square like a rectangle it didn't fit on my mantle well so i liked i just did it scripted wrote out there was a point like where the letters there was like parts of it that i missed there was like maybe two parts of the letter that i missed with the yarn and rather than like restarting i just ended up painting those little blocks white but whenever it's on the mantle or like whenever you would have it up for decoration you really can't see I, I don't notice it at all so and one of them was on the bottom so it didn't matter but one was like the very very top and what was on the bottom so either one you couldn't see unless you're like on top of it or you're picking it up but uh just the side note i didn't do it as perfect as the girls on pinterest do but that's because i'm the girl on youtube and not the girl on pinterest really really like the way it, it turned out it's so cute and i want to do so many different letters and like different things i don't know why it looks so good it really does it really brought my 
mantle and my decorations together it was just another like cute added touch that I wasn't expecting but I really but they just turned out better than what I thought in my head they were going to so last up is the crayon hearts Okay, I've always wanted to make these back whenever like crayon crafts were big on Pinterest. Whenever Pinterest was like a, a new thing. I'm old guys, remember this. But back in the day, Pinterest was like new and fun and exciting and it was like all these new, it's still fun and exciting, don't get me wrong, I love Pinterest. But back in the day, it was like all these new crafts. So like they're nothing compared to what they are now. They were like t-shirt crafts and like what you can make out of a t-shirt and like you just like braid t-shirts together and make like enough you could put around your wrist and then you tie it and then now you have a t-shirt bracelet. Crayon crafts were huge so that was like glue all of break up all your crayons and glue them to a, a canvas and then use a hair dryer and melt the glue and have it drip down. I did this. I actually gave this gave it to one of my regulars as a Christmas gift which I forgot about and until I started making this video, which is a really funny memory. And then there was like really popular to do like the same thing to like a pumpkin and like gloom around the top of a pumpkin and have it all go down. What I was trying to get is a lot of crayon crafts back in the day. I'm sure there still are, but I never took the crayons and melted them together to make these little molds. And I've always wanted to do this. And I was like, I have heart molds. Why not do this? snow. So that's what we're doing. So these are super easy to make. They're just more time consuming than what I thought they were. You just get a bunch of crayons. I took old and new. I use Crayola. I don't know about using the other companies at all. I'm The other uh, crayon companies, I don't know what they're like to melt or not. I just did good old Crayola because she's reliable. What I did is I organized the crayons. I took all the crayons out and I organized them by color. So all the blues, all the purples, all the pinks, all the oranges, all the greens, yellows, reds, all together. And then I took out like the whites, the browns. I put those to the side because I didn't want to use those. And then I went through those and it edited out the double colors. So I took out any like double blues, double reds, or anything that was like a double name that was already like they had the same name. I took all those out. And then I took a swatch of each color. So I colored in their little order and then wrote down what like abbreviation of the name. And then from that, I took, no, I don't think it needs to be this difficult. This is just how I have to do things in my brain or I have to do things so I can like, I have to work things out. So then I took those colors and found from the swatches what colors were too similar in colors and took out one of those and then at the end I was left with the amount of crayons that I wanted. So then you take the wrapping off so you I use like a nail cleaner outer like a the clean out underneath your nails I use one of that because it's pretty sharp and I just sliced and wrapped and that took a little bit of time, honestly. So just um, put on a YouTube video or whatever you're into watching Netflix and just know that you're gonna be there for a second unwrapping crayons and putting them in their color coordinated order. From there, you just break them, you just break them off into, into like threes or fours. And so you have little pieces of crayons and then I just organized them. I did like one of each, so I did like a one blue one that was like a different color, blues, greens, an orange one, a purple one, a yellow one, a red one. So I had six in one of like just like the basic colors and I did six mixed. So I just took like random colors and put those together in the other one. I tried not to do colors that I thought were gonna blend together because in my head I thought of tie dye, but they actually didn't like melt together. More or less I just like melted in their place and then molded together but like their colors didn't I would have to like go like this and like which is the stirring motion I would have to do that to get them to which I didn't think of that so I tried to do colors that were um, complementary to one another and weren't going to muddle so then once you break them up and you put them in their little color coordinated area I took the silicone molds and I put those on a baking sheet so that way it's easier to, to transport them um, obviously silicone molds aren't the easiest 
to maneuver, especially when everything's are wet inside of them. So I would definitely recommend putting it on a baking sheet. I started at my, my preheated in my oven at 200. I could have easily went up to 250 or 300. I was just nervous that I was going to bake them or like burn them. So I didn't want to do that obviously. So I started at 200. Um, I eventually went, brought it up a little bit to like 250 I think. Like I said, I could you could start much higher than 200. I started at 10 minutes and they weren't melted at all. So then I added, I just continued to add five minutes on until they were melted. And then I did raise the temperature, like I said. I didn't like walk away. Once I, that first 10 minutes was up, I didn't really walk away from the stove. I kept an eye on them until I thought that they were melted enough to my liking. I did have like one orange guy that just wouldn't freaking melt. So I kind of like give him a little, they didn't take very long to make. They solidified maybe 15 minutes after uh, I took them out of the oven. I just let them sit. I actually let them sit overnight, but I didn't have to. They were fine. They were ready to go and be popped out of the silicone molds pretty soon after. But these are a really cute gift for Valentine's Day. They're so easy to make. Easy and simple is like, like, you, like you guys all know, like I like to do is easy and simple. If you have just some crayons laying around your house that are broken and never gonna be used, this is a great way to give them a new life. And if not for a gift, you don't have to do them in crazy. I mean, silicone molds aren't very expensive. You can do any shape. It was just a nice way to give the crayon a new life. This is just fun. And it also can get a way for your kids to get involved. I don't have kids. So do that with your kids. Okay. So, um, and then think of me when you do it. Okay. She's like, Hey, my friend Michelle taught me to do this. So that's it guys. That's my Valentine's day crafts. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day and I hope that you got some some ideas for some fun Valentine's at Christmas, Valentine's Day crafts. Um, and I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day. If it's single or if you're in a relationship, either one is totally okay. And if you're single, we're in this together. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for joining and uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Goodbye.